Alright, hello everybody. This is R5 standing by with a late night playthrough. Now, the reason I'm doing this playthrough is because my other one was, um, unpolished. <laughs> I will be redoing the FTL part 1 playthrough, but just not tonight. For now, I'm just going to do a little 10 minute video maybe. Six, seven minute, I don't know. On this classic internet game, well, yeah, yeah, it's becoming, it's kind of becoming like a little bit of a staple. It's very easy to reach. But anyways, it's, will you press the button? Some of you might recognize this from the YouTubers, or if you've gone to it yourselves, I suggest it. It's a fun little icebreaker game. Played a bit. I accidentally clicked the button, and I guess it's a good dilemma because reasons. All right. So my Twitch subscriptions are free, but my favorite streamer will never be heard from again or heard from again. I don't really have a favorite streamer on Twitch. I don't really watch many people. I mean, I, I guess just in case I do technically have a favorite streamer, I will not press the button because I would rather people don't fly off the face of the earth for no reason. So yeah, um, good dilemma. I wish I could say it was just an okay dilemma. It's always so extreme. Alright. So, you can go back to any age you would like. But, you cannot change anything that happens. Hmm. Okay, I don't know how long I was talking before that gave out, so... <laughs> uh, uh, I need better equipment. But I am a broke college student. Waiting to get some callbacks from job applications. But let's not go into that now. Alright, you get a giant robot. But... The robot's original owner wants to kill you and take it back. That sounds like a classic anime. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> so... I mean, I guess I'd have to live every day with that death threat, but at the same time, I get a giant robot. Come on. That's... It's pretty cool. I think it's worth it. I, I grew up with Robotech. Transformers and Giant Robo. If anyone gets some of those references. So yeah, that's why I would most definitely take the Giant Robot, even though the owner originally wants to, to kill me. Who knows, maybe I'll have some final showdown with them where they make their own Giant Robot. On an improvement on our Giant, on my Giant Robot. Then we duke it out. Or they duke it out. And then... I don't know, maybe we win. Because they don't want to destroy the original robot because they want it back use that against them and then win the fight and yeah giant robot click on the button now check if I audio still working yes the audio is still working awesome screen froze fantastic um I liked it I'll say that's a good one oh got this from Got this for Christmas. It's kind of cool. It's a Beatles cup. Use it to drink my tea. All right. Next scenario. You'll become rich and famous, but you can never be in a permanent relationship. Well, that would kind of suck. 
Hmm. Does that also include friendships? Could I never have like a permanent friendship? Or does that also does it also go to family? Can I you know my family bonds hold the grade? Yeah, and become rich and famous. I could foster a lot of other people's relationships. I don't know. Well, money can't buy you love. But it can possibly buy you an eternity. Or a legacy. And adoptive children. To live out your name and wisdom. I don't know, I'll click the button. In a way, when you think about it, all relationships end, whether it's from divorce, breakup, or death. Alright, not gonna be so dark about it, but yeah, technically no relationship is permanent. But at the same time, technically, all of them are permanent. So on to the next question. If my computer will load it. Come on, Microsoft Edge. I know you can do it. I believe in you. I believe. I believe. And you're still not doing it. But I believe in you. And that's what every anime says you need to do. probably state I'm not a weeaboo. I have watched about six anime in my entire life. And I think maybe finished no, no, no. Eight. And I finished two. So no, not a big anime junkie. But I like it. Alright. New one. Okay, you can control the rate of growth all over your body hair at body hair at will giving you the possibilities of instant beards or no pubic hair but you cannot reverse the process and you'll have to shave cut or trim or shave your hair manually actually that's kind of useful you know say you're trying to hide from someone just like instant beard <laughs> But it also says no pubic hair, and I cannot reverse the process, so I guess it will... That would also say, like, all oh, that would grow back, but then I could just kind of go, nope, and... Shorten the runner on here, I guess. Maybe I don't have to shave anymore. I if I ever get scruffy, I can just go... Turn it into a superpower. Control the hairs like that old show. Oh, bo, 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 bo. Like, like, this Chuck Norris. Sure, I'll press the button. Sounds like it would be fun. Make a mustache. Still recording? Yes, audio is still going. You can control the rate of growth all over your body. Okay, it's still the same one. And yeah, that's a good one. That was a good one, I'll give it credit. <laughs> everyone pressed the button, or almost everyone did. I mean, I guess there is also the possibility that you don't grow hair again in certain areas. We just don't grow hair at all. I'm gonna go get some more tea while this loads. I'm back. Alright, so, I will become the richest person in the world, but I will lose the ability to sleep. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so does that mean I don't have the consequences of losing the ability to sleep? 
I don't have to deal with that. Does that mean I just kind of stay up 24-7? Like certain animals do? Or like a vampire? Or does that mean I lose the ability, but I still have to sleep? And like, because sleeping is very important to the mind, there's certain like repairs and whatnot that go on, and if you're a child, if you don't sleep, you'll, your growth is stunted. If I'm not mistaken, there was a study done. You can check, there's like a, probably a Vsauce video on this. Um, the effects of sleep, of not having sleep get worse and worse, and after like three weeks of not having sleep or something like that, you, you start like, you, you can start having like hallucinations. So, I will not, just on the off chance that I, the consequences of not sleeping are still there, I will not press the button. Because I do like sleep, and at the same time, that would really, just, I'd rather not lose my mind. I think many people can agree with me that we would very prefer to keep minds intact. Yes, some of us would like to lose certain memories, but at the same time, I think you'd like to keep your persona intact and not go crazy. And think that the walls are like bleeding or something. Alright, you can play any song in the world, but only on a child xylophone. I feel like that's some, especially if I got like a bigger one, I could go on to like America's Got Talent or something like that. Cause, is that all, I, I wonder, cause maybe that would allow me to have like a bunch of them kind of like stacked on top of each other. Another. I feel like it'd be kind of fun. Maybe you'll end up on Jimmy Fallon whenever they do their covers with the uh, elementary school songs. That'd be kind of cool. And in my case, because I already do play many instruments, I can uh, I can kind of reverse engineer the music from how I know it there, let it go feed into muscle memory, and then kind of shift it on the, to a piano and from there figure it out on the guitar and figure it out on the bass and ukulele, harmonica. Can't play many songs with the harmonica. You play a lot of songs, but you can't play like at least one more like that. Yeah, I mean, that could be fun. That could be fun. Uh, that was a good Alright, the person you love will love you back and give you get to live a perfect life with them. But every person in your immediate immediate Excuse me. Whew. Every per single person in your immediate family will die tragically. could also mean non people not related to you so like uncle fernando was... no no i'm not pressing the damn button i already am in a relationship with someone i love and who loves me back maybe it won't live a perfect life with her but you know it's part of life the uncertainty the experience you live it you learn from it you get better from it Plus, uh, 
maybe even on an emotional sense. I, I don't know how, how many people could... I don't know what anyone else's opinion is, but in my opinion, one person, or two even if, if you count me into this factor, are not worth six or seven. In my case, it'd be like five or six. Well, it could go up. It, it varies depending on it varies depending on whether you count non-related, but just related. That's a, at least five other people. Some of which whose lives are pretty early on, or at least in their beginning stages. They're just starting to bloom. It's not worth it. One person's not worth it. I go blind after the first use of shooting laser beams from my eyes. Kinda reminds me of the paper flamethrower from from the Ghost Rider. So it'd be kinda like Scott Summers without his visor. But I can choose. I mean I could use echolocation. Fun fact, humans can use echolocation. Think about that, that's, that's kind of cool. Not nearly as good as bats, but we can train our ears to do it. And our minds to see sound, to see sound. Man, just think about that, seeing sound, seeing colors. It sounds like an LSD trip. Um, but I'd go blind. And I do visual arts sometimes. I feel... I won't press the button. Oh, laser beams aren't worth that. I like being able to see people. I like when I'm with my girlfriend being able to look into her eyes as well. Or being able to like, see the smiles on a baby's face. I like being able to see. So, no, it's not, it's not basic, basically blow my eyes out. Who knows, maybe it'll hurt too. Maybe it like burns every time I use it. I mean, that would be kind of cool though. I mean, I wouldn't mind it if it happened anyways. Happened accidentally, but if I had a choice, I'd rather not have laser eyes that are blind. Plus, I'd be very inaccurate at shooting. Does it, well it depends on whether it shoots from the pupils, or it's just like a Anyways, um, I guess it's good, it depends on how much you value your sight. So they just become like, jealous with rage because I have a talent. I feel like I dealt with that at some point. I don't know. Um. Hmm. So 
So it depends. This one just kind of boils down to paramount in terms of uh, social. Anyway, I'll let that. I'll leave this one up to you, the few viewers that are out there. I'll come up with a name for you at some point. This is my Matt Smith face. If anyone's ever watched Doctor Who, it just kind of like looks over. It gets in real close. Just whisper this one. You guys, question. Do you wish to be very? Big?